Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. I'm Nicole. I've been doing, started the 30 day hair detox in January of 2021 and I've been documenting my progress on this hair journey since then. Today is another maintenance visit with my stylist Tyranny uh, at Onyx Glam in Biloxi, Mississippi. So I'm very excited about that and to have her put her professional hands in my head and lay my hair down all good and give me my maintenance cut. I can see that my hair has grown. It's been about 10 or 11 weeks since I got my first uh, visit with her. And when I had first initially visited with her, I had already been in the 30 day hair detox and see some curls for like six months. So that kind of put me just a little bit ahead. I still wasn't doing as well as I thought, right? She kindly told me, uh, no, you still got ways to go on your hydration journey, but that just makes me even more excited because to me, my hair is still is doing so much better than anything I was doing before. So that makes me excited that it's just going to get better. So let me just keep doing my part and then she'll do her part every 10 to 12 weeks depending on how this pandemic goes, everything might shut down again. So this might be the last time I have the opportunity to get a haircut for a while, but we'll see how it goes. And I do plan to, um, I guess, enjoy the conversation of her telling me, you know, how my hair might have improved, where there's still work that I can do. Um, she's good at explaining things. So maybe she'll explain to me why and what she's gonna do as far as my maintenance trim. Um, I'm interested to see like how much is she gonna actually have to trim off? Is it just gonna be a little bit? Is it gonna be a lot? And um, either way, I'm fine with it as long as it contributes to my healthy hair journey. And also to uh, run by her a couple of products that I have either used or looked at since I seen her last, just to get her thoughts and opinions on how they would contribute or detract from where I'm trying to be ultimately. So have those conversations with your stylist when you do partner with the stylist and take advantage of the time that you have. You're only gonna see her every, me anyway, I'm only gonna see her every three months. So when I do see her to have my, have done my, have my questions and such ready for her. And let's get a good look at this hair before I go to her and you'll, of course, see see the after photos of uh, when when she sets it. I know my hair is gonna look lighter after she she does it for some reason. Maybe it, I don't know, I don't know. But um, I will document as much of it as I can and hope it encourages you all to uh, partner with a curl specialist if you can, and to also get that one on one uh, partnership about your hair. So I will see you. I guess later today i'm looking forward also y'all to the shake i want to be like the instagram girls where they do the slow-mo with the shake even if it's just for that one day i love it so i will see y'all when i get back from that visit <laughs> i'm back here's my fresh new curly cut Right, you see I got more, more of this going this way because my hair is longer, so I've got a little bit more of a angle and a lift here. And my hair is filled out more, so that's exciting. Good reports from my stylist. I learned that I don't have to use uh, AG every week now. I can do it maybe like every other week and then, oop, look at that eyeliner up on my eyelid, hold on. And disclaimer, this is what my stylist, who's had her hands in my hair, has told me will work for my hair. So don't, don't stop using a certain thing if your stylist didn't tell you to do that. But for me, she said, I don't have to <coughs> use AG Naturals every week. I can do it like every other week and do more of the inner sense or more of a moisturizing shampoo and conditioner because um, my hair is 
detox enough and accepting water and condition as such that I don't need that um, strength of a shampoo every single week. I also took her products I've been using like the mop top and she looked at it and she said that's cool for me and of course the papaya slip has been cool but as far as this deep conditioning hair mask um, I've only used it once or twice and be honest with your stylist when you're using stuff and why that um, I don't really need this unless my hair is feeling like extremely she referred to it as high porosity um, to give it that little extra something but I really don't need to use this very often if at all so putting that over here and I also learned that I can I can use papaya slip with my twist out so I will look, be looking forward to trying that with my next round of styling twist outs is to put the papaya slip on top of it and hopefully that will help reduce the frizz um, and make those the definition and such last longer so I did get she did let me film her cutting my hair and I did get a couple of snippets of her doing her process and I will insert those or I have inserted those so you can see um, I didn't do the, the shampoo part because I was just enjoying getting my hair washed I mean she's very thorough it takes her takes her time shampooing and detangling my hair and I was just enjoying the experience but I did get a picture of my hair in the shampoo bowl with the Uncle Funky's daughter on it and I did get um, some of her raking and smoothing my hair and definitely got the the haircut portion
so that's me oh and one more thing since uh this is her second time doing my hair and she has a better idea of my hair and how it's behaving she thought that this part right here that it could have been the um surface texture of it was due to possibly damage from my um doing so much protective styling but it's just this part of my hair is very coarse this part has a smooth surface texture more of a smooth silky surface texture you can kind of see it if you look real close like all the way around this part she confirmed that and then this part is more wavy it's still coarse but it's not as coarse as this part so i have officially have three three um surface textures going on in my hair on this journey and that's fine she said you know that's your hair you got to stick beside it so i'm gonna stick beside it y'all and there's nothing to do about this part being coarser you just clean still cleanse condition and style uh the same way every week and just know that that part is a coarser part of my hair right there is this is this the crown i think this is the crown part so we still want to <clears throat> the reason it's still at this length here we still want this to keep growing out right because we want like this throw that out this is kind of growing fine and then even back here you see these little pieces here they can continue to they can continue to grow out right and then once this grows out to here then we can like gradually bring it down so the goal is to just let my hair grow and whenever I go in for my maintenance appointment to just meet it where it's at as far as growth and to shape it back into shape accordingly so look at that she is so, she does the smallest sections but I'm paying her I pay full price US dollars to get my hair done and you expect that from a professional but she just she takes her time shampooing my hair conditioning my hair raking through and smoothing my hair and if I pay myself I guess I could I could take that kind of time if it was my job but every week I'm doing my own hair so I'm like let me get this done as quick as possible but since I'm going to her for my professional experience she takes her time and and does it so i really appreciate that very pleased with my results mommy loves it hubby loves it i love it y'all love it it's okay y'all do so thanks so much for watching and i'm still going to document the progress this week of how her set progresses with my hair as i'm exercising and going about my life and so i will see you guys on day two Thanks so much for watching. Hello and welcome to day two hair. So let's give you the what 18360 really quick. I had mentioned yesterday how when tyranny does my hair like she does the smallest sections when she's raking and smoothing um and also she does small sections and she's so intentional when she breaks and smooth like where she puts my curls into place especially back here which i don't do because i don't i don't even look at the back of my hair when i take it down in the morning i just kind of feel how it falls and mainly focus on what I I can see in the front. I don't I don't know if y'all do that, but that's kind of how I am with my hair since being on this journey. And so this is it. This is day two hair. I'm loving how my hair is filling in more. Um, again, essential elements of my hair. The texture is mostly coarse because back here it's silky, and here it's coarser and more cottony and then up here it's coarser not coarser than this this is the coarsest but it's all fine fine i'm sorry the texture is fine the surface texture that's what's the coarse and this 
silky and this smooth. So this, you see this little like, this curl goes like that, like a telephone cord, right? In the back, those curls tend to move, go that way. And then here, it's more of a looser wave, but then right here, it's a tighter wave, right? A tighter wave, they're not coiling. You know, coils go like this. This is more, more of a wave. So I only have coils right like back here and a little bit around here. So the texture of my hair is fine. The thickness of my strand and then the density is high density. And then my surface texture is mostly coarse. This is what we have for day two. I haven't worked out or anything today. I don't know if I intend to work out today, but I do plan to go out in the elements and run errands. I haven't checked what's the humidity for today. Let's check so far. The humidity says it's 78% and the weather says it's 84, but it feels like 97. So that's the kind of uh, environment I'm, I'm living in today. So we will see how my hair, how she progresses throughout the week. And of course, I will be back in every day to update you on how she's going. But I am so impressed with, like I knew, I knew my hair had grown, <laughs> but it took getting a haircut to really see how it had really filled in and the shape and stuff. So I'm very, um, pleased with that and I like when Tyranny cuts my hair that as she's cutting it even though I trust her she explains what she's cutting and why to kind of warn me of what she's doing I guess to if I was were a little anxious or wondering that she's she allays my my fears and sets the expectations for what she's doing and I love I love that she loves what she does and you can tell so I will see her again in 10 to 12 weeks I I've started marking in my calendar from the day, like from yesterday, when I see her to go ahead and see when my next appointment should be. So when her books open, I can make sure I get my appointment. Okay. So that's day two, right? We're on day two. I will see y'all on day three. Have a great day. Hello. Welcome to day three here. She's doing really well. So day three, another thing that I learned from my appointment with my stylist that I was already vaguely considering investing in the Dyson hair dryer. And the way my stylist explained it was that the way the dryer works is that it dries the hair cuticle from the inside out instead of from the outside in. So even though, as you saw in the video, when she was drying my hair, it was blowing my hair all around. Usually if you use a, another kind of dryer that will like cause frizz and a lot of other things. But the way the Dyson technology works is that the way it dries is that it doesn't do that. So part of to the finish and longevity that um, I get when my stylist does my hair and even how my hair feels versus when I do it um, with the drying because my hair is high density getting the roots dry is very difficult and um, I'd have to be under the dryer even if I were under the dryer for like two three hours it probably still wouldn't be penetrating deep deep to the roots so with the Dyson that's when you saw her going in to dry well no before I didn't show it in the film when she was, um, when I first came out from under the dryer, she took the Dyson to go through my hair and just finish drying at the roots. Then while she was cutting my hair, she used it to make the hair blow down so that she could cut it as evenly as possible. So I am watching different sites to see when they have sales and saving my coins so that I could possibly invest in my own Dyson in the future. Because if I'm going to be wearing my hair every week, you know, wash and goes and where I have to dry my hair, that that is a very good asset to have in my hair arsenal to help me to get the best possible results. But I mean, you could do fine. You don't need a Dyson, but 
it helps uh right and it's an investment for a long-term thing because it's a good quality product so it probably will last you years right so that's where i am with the dyson right now so if y'all hear about any like if sephora has like 25 percent off discount or something like that and i can apply it to that purchase then that would be very helpful to me and so this is day three i haven't exercised yet but you see i got my workout my hoodie on and my tights my tights kind of try to match so that i will i do plan to work out on my hair today so this will be the first day working out while my hair is in this set and to see what effect does all that sweating and stuff have on my overall hair longevity and when it starts to frizz because it really hasn't even started to really you know frizz or shrink up too too bad yet so once i exercise that could definitely accelerate that process so i will see you on day four have a great day Hello, welcome to day four hair. See, she's shrinking, but she's still very much defined. And the shape is still awesome. Because even as it shrinks, it still has a, a shape to it. So that really helps with the overall style. So I'm still so excited to that I found someone and then also multiple people, a whole community of people who are trained to cut my hair in its natural state that I don't have to because I don't want to. If you want to straighten your hair and get it cut and wear it mostly straight and you're a natural, like I'm channeling Tab Tabitha Brown, you know, that's your business. But I want to wear my hair mostly natural and also have it in a shape so i'm so happy that i have this option i still sleep in a buff at night and just wake up and like i said my hair doesn't really shake out it's that you see it moves in the front so i you know do it do something like this do it something like this and um let it kind of grow into place as it tends to do you know starts out smushed and then my hair grows into place that's part of my high high density hair and my stylist even told me about when she was cutting my hair that i don't need a su super sharp angles because i'm high density because as you can see where my hair is as it grows out it's gonna be out because it's it's dense so it's gonna lay on top of itself and just be longer and just like where it is right here when it grows out it's gonna be like out to here cool huh so that day four hair i haven't worked out on my hair yet i haven't felt like working out but i'll pick it up you know how you go like monday is always the start day of something or sunday so i may work out today but i might just reset everything tomorrow i don't know but that's uh that's me today. See? Nothing to, let me see. Yeah, the only thing I'm still thinking about is the fact that the, the finish on my hair, because this doesn't have papaya slip, it doesn't have mop top on it. This is just um, Uncle Funky's I Create Holds, um, is due to one, her spending so much time in the shampoo bowl, shampooing my hair, and not adding a bunch of shampoo, but wetting my hair, saturating my hair with water, and then putting shampoo on it and working the shampoo through my hair. And then she would add just a little bit more water, work it through some more, a little bit more water, and the same with the conditioner. So that it sets me up for a more hydrated and defined set because you're doing the hydrating in the shampoo bowl or in the shower. And then the, that contributes to the defining when you saturate your hair and weigh it down with water properly, then it kind of just falls into place and you're not having to manipulate it so much trying to get it to do a certain thing. It's it's already doing the thing. You just kind of have to put it into place a little bit. So I will see you on day five. Have a great day. Hey 
y'all welcome to day five hair i still have my buff on from i slept in it and then i worked out in it this morning so now i'm going to take it off and just show you how i take my hair down um after having a buff sorry i got still got eyeliner there all right so this is how it looks coming out of the buff so I had to do it like this. It's still, ooh, it's wet. It's wet under here. Yep, sweat, sweat, sweat. That's okay. Okay, like that. Gently under here, because I don't want to contribute to the frizz. And this is like, you see that? It's wet from sweat from my working out. And back here too. So I want to pull it down, but I don't want to unduly like disturb my gel cast and pull on my curls so they'll frizz. So what I'll initially do is, yeah, take it down. Oh, look at that shape. It's coming down pretty good though. Okay. And then when it's like really wet back here, I just like top, jostle it like this to get it to separate a little more. And then kind of do like this and pull down very gently, very gently. And then I'll let it just sit like that. And then it's gonna do a little bit of its own thing. And like within the next 15 to 20 minutes, and then I might come back. I will come back and after it's kind of grown into itself and I will shake it and you know pull it out a little more but that's it for day four i'm not sorry i need some earrings let's do these i love a good hoop earring and what makes these special is they have white gold yellow gold and rose gold so it's like a gold trio going around these hoops so that makes them special all hoops are not created equal. They have three three main gold hoops that I wear that are like my everyday hoops. You may have noticed. So there we go. We'll go with that. There you go. Much better. Okay. So this is day four hair shoot five. Day five hair, right? Day five hair, so she's looking pretty. Sorry, I'm give y'all the view. But she's looking pretty, pretty good. Consider this is my first time working out on this set that my stylist did. And so the true testament will be, cause usually it looks pretty good when I first take it down while it's still damp and even for the whole day. But once I sleep on it and wake up the next day, it could do a whole nother thing at night while I'm sleeping and decide like it's, I feel like my hair strands talk and they say, we gonna go this way, you know, we're gonna go that way or we're gonna stay here. So we'll see how it, <laughs> it looks when I decide to take my hair down uh, out of the above tomorrow. But I will of course keep you posted. And thank you so much for watching my day five hair and I will see you on day six. Hello, welcome to day six hair. Look in there. You see more more frizz and shrinkage is setting in. But I have noticed that since the first time Tyranny did my hair, that this set is so much better in the definition in the like hydration and that's because um i stuck to her my regime and cleanse condition to style my hair every <clears throat> every five to seven days and using the ag she explained it like when she initially did the detox you know that does because you know hair has a cuticle 
and when you shampoo it, it the cuticle opens and then when you condition it the cuticle goes down that's how it works uh, as opposed to our skin our skin has pores so there's no cuticle to open and close so that's why um, we put um, lotion or moisturizers on our skin to provide that uh, barrier layer to keep moisture in our skin did you know that okay good if you did yeah you learned something new if you didn't know that so anyway so since she detoxed did that deep detox the first on my first appointment because i asked her about that then every time i've been using that ag that stronger stronger than a moisturizing shampoo right uh it's been continuing to do that process of getting my hair like really clean and um getting moisture in and etc cetera, etc cetera. Um, if you want a more like scientific or detailed or professional explanation, I would encourage you to either go in to see some curls, ask Elisa and Aisha, or ask your stylist, right? Because it's like if you're a doctor, you know all the, the medical terminology, so you can like read a medical journal with, journal with no problem. But if I read it, I'm like, ooh, that's a lot of big words. But, um, even as an, uh, as an accountant, um, I can look at a tax return and pretty easily figure out what's going on or like a financial document because I know where things should be and what to look for. So that makes it a lot easier for me to look at it and then digest it and like explain it in a more simple terms. So it's like the same with a stylist. I feel like they know certain like the scientific or the, the whatever they learned in school part and then they try to explain it to us um who don't have that background or extra education in a way that we can understand so i'm just uh re um giving it to you the way i understood it but if you want like super duper technical then ask a professional yeah so um but yeah so because that's been going on and my hair is in a lot better condition uh, hydration wise than it was not perfect but way better then I, I know that's contributing to how this this set is doing versus the first first time I got my hair done. So I'm very excited to, three more months, right? 10, 10 11, 12 weeks to continue to see my progress. So that is day six. And I mentioned that since I worked out yesterday, my hair will probably shrink up or frizz up more today, but I think it's decent. I do plan to work out again today, so we'll see how that does with it going tomorrow, how it my hair fares tomorrow, but I do feel like at the roots part, it's definitely more um, dense because my hair has shrunk up since being wet with sweat and then drying and then me sleeping on it. So that's just a natural part of the process, but you can see this part is shrunk up way more than the rest of my hair, but I told you that's my super coarse part and that's just what it's gonna do watch me stretch it out and then see how it just shrinks up to that little part so that's just what it is and I like it so thanks for watching I'll see you on day seven and uh, yeah don't forget to hit that subscribe button tell your friends to hit the subscribe button and I will see you tomorrow have a great day Hey, welcome to day seven hair. Yay. This hair, look at that. She does such a good job. One day, I just, I wish I had the patience to spend the amount of time on my hair that she does, but that's why you go to a professional, right? You're expecting them to spend the extra time on your stuff. So you can just relax and enjoy it. That's because even as long as she spends shampooing my hair, um, if you look at like Flourish Salons, Instagram, and um, Protected by Lisa, Earnestly Natural, and even OG Curl Spe Specialist Tyranny, like you'll see how they when they washing your hair, they're not in a hurry. They take their time and they do it very thoroughly so that's not something 
I aspire to do at home, but I do appreciate knowing that if I wanted to, that I could, and it would probably contribute to the like longevity of the definition in my set. And also that Dyson, it's something special about that Dyson dryer and the way it dries your hair. So that it also combats or contributes to the longevity of the set because it doesn't pre-frizz your hair. So your hair starts out at, in a better position, right? And then the frizz comes way later. Like you see this, we see there's quite a bit of shrinkage. Like my hair is still wet from my workout earlier. You know, I like to show y'all, look at that. See that? Wet and a little bit of product. Like it is wet, wet. Usually just be wet. Like around here is wet everywhere. I really worked out today. And it still has the shape, but there's still a lot of shrinkage, but a lot of definition, right? So on day seven. So yay. So that's two workouts on this set. That's charisma. That's going out in, you know, 80 and 90 degree weather where the heat index is like 10 or more degrees hotter than what the actual temperature is. And so, yes, I'm very pleased with the improvement in my hair this go round. And that's making me even more excited, right, for my next appointment that will be in 10 to 12 weeks. Uh, Tyranny's books, they open on the 20th of every month. So, like the 20th of this month, which was a few days ago, that will be when you make your appointment for the next month. So, I already put the date in my calendar as a reminder so I know what days her books open up and what date my next appointment should be, right? That's up to me to book it, not for her to tell me when to book it. I'm a grown up. So <laughs> that's it for day seven. And I probably will definitely see you on day eight. I think the first time she did my hair, I don't know if my set made it to day eight because my hair was in a different condition right it's more hydrated now so I'll go back and look at my pictures but I'm excited to comfortably make it to day eight without having to whip out my headband right so yay and I will see you on day eight have a great day hey welcome to day eight hair I'm sure y'all can tell by the robe that this is the end of the line for this set for me. Reasons being, not because of how she looks. Cause I think she looks pretty good. I didn't fluff her out completely. My hair is still damp from my workout that I did, but I am resetting my hair. Cause one I've done, it's been eight days, right? I've done three workouts on this hair. My scalp is a little itchy. I don't like it. And it's just time. So I'm glad that I learned from this salon visit that my coarse part is just gonna be coarse. And that's that. Um, it made me think of whenever you hear Aisha talk about how her hair is not soft. It actually, it's not that. It doesn't feel hard right now, but it has felt that way, especially compared to the rest of my hair. So it's just coarser, harder. And that's that's how it's gonna be. I also learned not to feel like there's something wrong with my drying technique because the roots never get dry when I um, cleanse, condition, you know, style, set my hair, but that's just high density life. Um, dry it as much as I can and then take the diffuser <clears throat> and finish the job as best I can. So those are two and many more. You saw, you've seen the previous days. Takeaways and uh, looking forward to how I set my hair right after this second visit to my tight curl specialist to Tyranny at um, Onyx Glam in Biloxi, Mississippi. And looking forward to continuing to keep up my consistent hair maintenance until it's time for my next appointment. So I look forward to hearing your comments with what you liked about the video, what you appreciated, maybe something you learned about the maintenance cut or the second visit that you maybe didn't know or were curious about. And I look forward to seeing you on the next video. Things I am considering doing. I'm gonna do a wash and go for this next one because I like to follow up 
my appointment to go back into the wash and go so I don't so it's not so long since I've done it where I like lose my skills right but I do want to do a braid out and maybe because I keep looking at Protected by Lisa's page and she does the most beautiful rod sets and I did take her course about how to do it so I do have my my notes from that and I have the rod the roller perm rod but I haven't done it yet but now that I've got a fresh cut and I've gotten my hair has grown filled in more maybe I'll do a rod set a one product rod set we'll see how y'all um, encourage me with your engagement um, or I might save that to do when I reach 1k so the sooner I reach 1k subscribers the sooner y'all could see me attempt a, a one product rod set on my hair so thank you for subscribing thank you for liking thank you for commenting and thank you for appreciating that I'm not a professional I'm showing you the from the consumer end how I'm applying these tips and techniques and some some questions are beyond my expertise and that's when uh, you need to seek a professional opinion but I'll do the best on my end to explain what I can so thank you so much I really appreciate y'all spending time with me I appreciate those who join me in the live chats for um, <clears throat> when I do the instant premieres and the little conversations that we have. So I look forward to more in the future. Have a great day.